Hello, hello. Welcome to the chaos. And chaos it sure is. This looks so nice and serene in here. If you could see the surroundings, which no, I am not going to show you. You would think otherwise, as the studio is in a shambles. Let me just say shambles. But I wanted to show you today a little tiny thing I've been working on and I just thought, oh, it's so cute. And so this is just gonna be a quick little flip through video um, of this envelope journal that I made. I made it from an envelope and it has several little surprises in it and I think I'll just walk you through it. I did some new things I have never tried before with this and I thought how much fun could it be? So here we go. Um, like I said I just started with an ordinary envelope. I think it was one of these. Pretty sure. Yep that's the one. Turned it upside down like that and folded it in half. See there? Yep, that's the one. Just a plain envelope. And then we decorated it and went to town. So we'll start with the review of the outside. And the outside, I just did some stenciling and um, I did circles on the front and squares on the back and then my little stamp on the back. And there is an eyelet. I put an eyelet for the string there on the back. And you can see the string just comes around. And I just did a paper punch with this paper punch right here. I paper punched a little piece of cardstock that I had and used a little brad to make this wrap around. And then I made this little... Um, bling bookmark. It's not even really a bookmark. It's just some decorative with these little charms. Can you see the little charms there? can't tell if you can see that or not. So yeah, and then, so this is a neat little closure. I just kind of was thinking about it and it reminds me of those figure eights that you can make on those envelopes and I thought I can make that. So what I did so I just took a piece of string, and like I said, I took the, uh, this is just a little piece of cardstock, and decorated it. And then you can see here, if you look right there, there's the inside with the brad. Okay, so that's what's holding that on there. And then I just kind of lifted it a little with my fingers to give it that ability to um, go like this real easily with. And then you just wrap the string around like that. And then on the string, I just put a little angel wing charm on there. And then on the back, it's another envelope. Oh, I trimmed the very edge of the um, sides of the envelope. So when you fold it, okay, it's folded like this. And those are sealed. So what I did was I just took... Um, can't remember if I used my paper cutter. I probably used my paper trimmer and just trimmed off the edges to open those up. And then that gives you two little pockets right there and right there. See there? And so this is a press-on, just a rub-on transfer that I put on there. Um, and then in the first little section, I just put some paper, I just put a little piece of note paper that someone could use, and a piece of book page from some botanical book I have. And I just jazzed it up by inking around the edge and just stuck those inside there. So, oops, it should go like that and like that and then the front cover is this is the envelope and again you can see that's where it folds up and I just put a big stencil on there and did some highlighting with the um, 
This is um, China, Broken China, Tim Holtz. And I just put some ephemera in there. This is just something I printed. And this is an actual antique um, pocket card. What is it called? It's it's a church and company. I mean, it's just a little card. They Arm & Hammer used to put these in their um, baking soda. And they were little collectible cards. And so I have that. And then I put this little, this book belongs to and left it blank for whoever buys it. And then next page, I did, this kind of has a lot of these little fold out pages like this. Just kind of gives it a little extra writing space. And I just did a um, one inch circle. I did a half of a punch on a three by five note card and jazzed it up a little bit and put that on there. And then I numbered each page, this page one, page two, and then I did something different. I'll show you when we get there. Three and four, and then I did a little side pocket. It has another printed ephemera and a little ticket. And this is another little rub on transfer. And I just made this um, out of a book page with uh, shells. It was a book I had on seashells. And I got in a binge and I made a ton of these tucks the other day. And here's another fold out page. And I drew the lines on there. The lines weren't there, I just used a ballpoint pen. Another little page. So it goes like this, five, seven. Why? Because I forgot that my thing was here. Here's the bookmark, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> it works, whatever. Nobody's keeping track anyway. And so then I have this little lace bookmark that I put in. We'll see the, how I inserted it when we get to it. Another little tuckable. And I used another page from the shells. Now this little sticker I actually made using, let me show you. Piece of paper I printed that out on and if you can believe it, shipping tape. Ha ha ha, I need to do a video on how I did that. That is a fun way to make stickers. I love that way. And then just tuck the little ticket in there. Then this page was a fun page. Let me show ya. It's got this cutesy little decorated paper clip. It has a little seahorse on there. Can you see that? See if you can see that better. There you go. Cute little seahorse, just on a regular paper clip. And this is just a sticker, and I fabric um, coated a piece of cardstock. And this is just a piece of paper that, if you go like this, it pops out. Woo, isn't that fun? I think it's fun. And there's a little tuck inside of it. And I just glued, so you can see the back of that here. I uh, got crooked with it, but who cares, right? You know, imperfection is my perfection. And so the paper itself is just a 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper that I used and I cut. And um, yeah, oh, I need to erase my pencil mark still on there. <laughs> can you see that pencil mark on there? <laughs> Someday I'll get around to that. Anyway, and then this is just some little pieces of paper that I, I used my sewing machine and sewed the seam binding, not the seam binding, I sewed the seam into it to fix it, to make just this little tiny notepad that I tucked in the back. But I wanted it not to just flop all over the place, so, oh, maybe I should go this way. So there, that's that. Did I label that? Oh yeah, I even labeled page nine and 10. I just used my rubber stamp numbers there. And see, we, I, I felt, I realized my mistake on the last one, but I thought continuity was best. So I did the same page numbering um, idea here. <laughs> Made me feel better, like I knew what I was doing then. Okay, just, and this is obviously just a writing journal. I love pages that are blank and um, have a lot of space for writing. 
I put a little music stamp on here. And on this page, I used a corner cutter to cut that page because I thought, well, this needs to be a little prettied up because the top looks chewed. <laughs> and then more lines. I drew more lines. And this is just my coffee dyed paper. And sometimes they get a little ripped. And I thought this would be perfect to use up some of the little ripped pages from when I coffee dyed them. Just another little stamp there. And then this is the back of the book. And all I did was I just glued the ribbon, this piece of lace ribbon, down to the very back of the page so it works as a bookmark. I don't know what page it was on, but we're going to bookmark this page for some reason. And then this back page, I did some handwriting stamp and I did this cute little picture of a squirrel and this is a just a blank playing card that I have a bunch from I made a whole set of here let me show you <laughs> side trip I made this set of playing cards once just playing around and so I took one of those blank cards and just stuck a rose sticker on it and did some stamping on the back and just tuck that in there super simple stuff here guys this is not my rocket science book for sure but it was fun to make and I thought well that'd be great for someone just to tuck in their bag and take off with it and have space to journal what they're doing anyway that's all there is to it so hope you liked it and I'm going to offer this one for sale in my Etsy shop so the link down below will be there and there's only one and done so if you get to it and you want to buy it hope you enjoy it Thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, click subscribe and ring the little bell that's beside that if you want to get notifications. And hope you're all staying healthy and happy and have a great rest of your day or night. Take care. Hey, I realized I forgot to show you the, the contents of the back. And also I didn't think that you could really see the cuteness of these charms when I went back and kind of watched the video, I really wanted you to see that cute little key charm that I put on there, a key and a heart. I thought, you know, key to my heart, get it? Ha <laughs> ha, clever. Okay, so anyway, this is what I put in the back pocket. I didn't show you that. Shame on me. It's just a piece of note paper. Fold it up, nothing fancy. But this one is a little Edith Holden page that it's in German. I thought that was so much fun. Just a whole page from a Edith Holden book. Anyway, that's all I put in the back, but it's just so much fun. So, okay, that's all. Wanted to pop in and re-add that little section and show you the details that I missed, and I did ink up the string. This is just a piece of normal crochet string, and same thing with this. So, there you go. Now we're going to wind that thing back on there. I just think that's so much fun. And then you got your little angel wing sitting there. What do you think? You like that? I think that's so cute. So there you go. Okay, that is all. Carry on about your business. Have a great day.